Hey guys, welcome to Dread Vault again. This is Tolga Ser. Today we will check the new Neural DSP plugin Archetype Tom Morello. So, Neural DSP just dropped a new plugin which built with the contributions of the legendary guitar player Tom Morello. And today we will check this plugin. I'm gonna use the Sir M2 for this demo, for this test. Let's start. Most of the time I share my thoughts about a product at the end of a video, but today I prefer to put the commentary section at the beginning of this video because simply I didn't like the Tom Morello plugin by Neural DSP. Don't get me wrong, you can get lots of good ambient clean tones. That there are lots of different FX stuff in it, but I couldn't get a nice metal sound. All of the tones are too boxy for me. And since it's based on a Marshall amplifier, I expected more, but the plugin couldn't satisfy my expectations. Because of this, I didn't like it. Also, I have to mention I'm in love with the Neural DSP plugins, especially the 14 Kelly model. You know, I'm using it in my recordings and at rehearsals. I love how you can get a nice, huge, sound just by plugging your guitar and selecting a preset. I know it's the sound of Tom Morello, it's the plugin of Tom Morello and it might represent the sound characteristics of him as good as it can be. So simply it's not my cup of tea and I have to put this commentary section at the beginning of this video as a disclaimer because if you want to get the sound of Tom Morello or if you're a fan of Tom Morello probably you shouldn't watch the next of this review next of this video because I just reviewed and I just investigate the plugin as a simple metal guitarist and I don't want to make anyone angry but if you just want to hear the presets of this plugin from a simple guitar player let's go I just installed this plugin and I have no idea how it sounds like <laughs> And let's see what we have in here. We have a wah wah. It's not my thing. It's not my thing. I I never like this pedal. So I think we have a Marshall based amplifier. It's pretty obvious and I have no idea about the cabinet. We have a Vemi in here. We have lots of cool features in this thing. We have a delay, we have an EQ, we have a phaser. And here's the cabinet section, pretty standard. If you are using Neural DSP stuff already, you are pretty, you will be pretty familiar with this section. Also, we have an EQ as usual, and then we have a delay and then a reverb. So let's check the presets. We have the presets of Tom Morello. There are lots of reverb in this stuff. Maybe the delay. I don't get it, but there's a reverb in the background. Let's check the other presets. By the way, it's the only riff that I know from the Rage Against the Machine. Probably I'm playing it wrong even.
Let's see the factory presets. It's a nice clean tone. I'm gonna check that with a metal preset. I have no idea whose idea was that, but... Okay, dude. I get it, everything is on. Let's check to the transpose. Let's go to the C standard. I believe they put the exact transpose section of the John Petrucci neural DSP, but as I remember. The Petrucci one sounds better, maybe it's because of those FX stuff. It's not working that good with the transpose. It's not that good, it's not satisfying for me. Okay. Let's see, is it really the old trash? Is it because of the guitar? To check this preset, I'm gonna use my KVMG Pro with Samer Duncan JB's. Let's see, is it really fresh? Really guys, really. I don't get it, all of those sounds are too boxy. Is it about the guitar? No, it's definitely not about the guitar.
That was the 14 Kali and we returned to the Tom Morello again. It's meaningless, man. It's meaningless. Let's close the video because you already heard my opinions about this plugin at the beginning of this video. Don't forget to make a comment and if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Till the next video. See ya.